I'll be using the dimension command often as we go through this course. So what I like to do is to actually customize the shortcut uh, to activate the command. Uh, so to do that, what we will do is actually type alias edit. Okay, and that will open uh, a window for us. It takes a second usually, at least on my end. Uh, so this window allows us to customize the shortcut. AutoCAD calls it aliases. Um, but anyway, the way it works is basically we're going to to add a new shortcut to the list of shortcuts already within AutoCAD, I'm going to click on the plus icon. And then from here, we will get another pop up. And then we can type, for example, the dimension linear command. And that's the one I like to use. And then from here, I'm going to type D. I want to assign the letter D as a shortcut for this command. But you will see we get like a little warning that the letter D is actually assigned to another command uh, in AutoCAD. And it's the dimension style. So what we need to do in this case is to cancel. We will take it out from the other command. So we will go, now we will search to uh, the dimension style, the one that actually has that shortcut. Uh, and that's by default on AutoCAD. And then from here, you just click on the minus icon, and then we're gonna click on plus again, and then search for dimension linear. And then we're gonna type, uh, now we're gonna be able to assign the shortcut. We will click add, we'll click apply, and then OK. And now the shortcut should be working. To test that out, we're going to do that. We're going to just type D and then hit the return button. And as you can see, it looks like it's working and everything is good. And we're good to we're good to go.